Hello guys, I'm Jason Granger. I'm Milena Martin. And we're really happy to be part of Alba family. So are you going to show Aito how to shoot? That's a nice place. The weather's nice. You got to teach your son how to shoot. Yeah, of course. You pass? That's good. We should play together. That's the best team possible. No one can beat us together. Buckets. I'm from Spain, from Madrid. And I've been working on basketball for the last seven seasons, I think. Yeah, seven years in Movistar Plus, which is uh, um, the main channel, sports channel there in, in Spain. And I really like basketball. Uh, when I started playing for Unicaja, that was the same year she started working for, for ACB and EuroLeague. We got some friends in common. You know, we were talking, but nothing, nothing special. Then I went to, to Istanbul and we lost the contact a little bit. But then I came back and I always had her in my, between my eyes, you know, always in my, in my head. I was watching TV, I was like, look at that pretty lady on the TV. She looks smart, she looks uh, cute. And when I came back to Spain, I was like, well, it's my shot, it's my turn now. <laughs> I remember then. the first time I, I, I wanted to, yeah, please. One of the first times I saw Jason, I was waiting to, to interview somebody on court and I was like, I need somebody who speaks Spanish because it, it, it will be easier for me. I was starting with basketball. The name, I thought he was uh, from sound. USA and I right. was like, who? this guy, this guy speaks Spanish? Yes? <laughs> I couldn't believe he was from, from South Uruguay. America, from Uruguay, yeah. Exactly. That was funny because since then I was like, okay, I need to play good so Milena can make an interview with me. <laughs> this is really nice. I lived in Uruguay for 15 years, you know, uh, since I was born. Until I was age of 15 that I, I went to Spain. You know, I played basketball and soccer as well. Till the age of 10 that I chose basketball. Well, my father played professional basketball uh, like for many years. He was the second American who came to Uruguay in 1980s. And he played until he was like 40, 44, 44, 45, 45 years old. And then my mom oh, is a uh, ultra marathon. You know, she run races over 150 kilometers. That's a lot. Well, actually, my mom keep running, you know, because this was all, all she does right now. She loves to travel around the world and, and find these extreme races, you know, over 150 or 200 kilometers. And my father's a basketball teacher. He, he coached in uh, two American schools in, back in Uruguay, and he loved his job. Yeah, I would love to pick up my professional uh, journalism here in Berlin. Let's see what happens with the baby, let's see what happens with the Euroly, but I really love to be back on court, of course. Yes, I really love it. I should practice a little bit. We can warm up a little bit. Okay, uh, Jason, can I ask you some questions? For sure. How's life here in Berlin for you? <laughs> Actually, I'm, I'm loving it, you yeah. know? The seat is amazing. The, the club? Team, the club is great, you know, the teammates are perfect. The chemistry they have in the, in the team is, is something that I was looking forward and I'm loving to be here. And I need to ask you about your coach because I'm a big fan of Aito. How is working for him? He's such a legend in, in Spain and in, in Europe. I mean, it's great, you know. All the people, they play for uh, a bunch of guys who played for, for him uh, before. And I asked when I, before I came here, they, they talk great about him. You know, it's <laughs> one of those coaches, they, he teach you every day. He, like he knows so much about basketball. I'm 30 years old and I, I'm looking forward to still learning about this game. And I think he's the, the perfect coach for keep teaching me about this, this beautiful sport. And I'm loving it. I'm loving to be here and play for him. Well, my last two years went really, really rough especially mentally, you know, because 
Uh, I had two, two injuries. One was in January 2019. They had my first surgery. They took like uh, four centimeters of bone in the back of my heel, you know, and I was out like for four months. I was able to come back for, for the playoff, uh, performance the right way, you know. But the worst part was in September 2019. And the first game of the season, after 45 seconds, I tore my Achilles, you know? And that was really, really, really bad for me. You know, I was kind of desperate, you know, I was really frustrated, but uh, in my mind, I knew I was ready to have a newborn baby, you know, in December. So that was the thing that kept me alive, you know, and kept my motivation to get back in the core as soon as possible. I thought about uh, quitting basketball a couple times, you know, after, especially after my first injury, you know, I was dealing with pain for so much, so, so long, you know, and when you deal with pain for two, three years, and you know that pain is still there every morning, it's, it's really, really hard to manage that. You know, I had to work with, uh, with professionals, you know, to keep my mind right, and I, I really thought about uh, to retire. You know, a couple years ago, maybe three years ago, but right now I feel I feel like I'm 20 years old again. You know, I still got the same love and the motivation for for this game that I had like 10 years ago. You got the lights on. That's why. Hold the ball. I get Hit the ball. Drill. I will go at home. Yeah. Get in there. Let's go. I don't play basketball. I mean, people, when they see me, they think I play basketball because I'm tall and because I work talking about basketball, but no, I have no idea. But the thing is, I've been practicing during the quarantine, you know, in, in Spain, uh, because of the COVID, it's, we've been like three months locked at home. It was tough. And we were lucky to have a, a big garden and good weather also. Yep. So. Here's my teacher, my coach. <laughs> shooting coach. Yeah. We got great shooting in the But family no now. idea, no idea at all. 